because you got one of the answers correct. Um, yeah. you know. So we, we want to sketch 11 pi over 4. If you guys remember, the way that I broke this up is I take a unit circle. Right? And there's a lot of different ways to do this without coterminal angles. I would actually probably prefer to sketch this with coterminal angles. But I'll actually go through that when I, when I teach the coterminal angles. Anyways, to kind of do the long-winded version, if we talked about, remember, halfway around the circle is pi. right? Halfway around the circle is pi. All the way around is 2 pi. Well, if you can see, halfway around the circle is broken up into halves, right? which here would be pi halves. Well, we don't want to break it up into halves. We want to break it up into fourths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two more lines here. So that's pi over 4. Pi halves, which is the same thing as 2 pi over 4. That's 3 pi over 4. And this we're going to write as 4 pi over 4. Same exact thing. Then we'll just continue this. 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi. Right? You guys need me to add these all the way around, run through? Right? 7 pi over 4. So to start our angle, we're going to start here. We're just going to go all the way around and keep on counting. 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi, 10 pi, 11 pi. So our angle is right there. All right? Um, and so that would be in quadrant two. Now I'll go over the coterminal angles here for you in just a second. <coughs> 